Hi, my name is Paula Flo. I'm the founder and director of the national organization called The Hitting Stops Here. The reason I wanted to talk to you today is to let you know that in Seattle, Washington this weekend, on Friday and Saturday, there will be a seminar taking place being led by a man by the name of Ted Tripp, T-R-I-P-P. -P. Mr. Tripp believes that children are evil even from the time that they are in their mother's womb. And he believes that even during infancy that these children, these infants, are to be beaten. And we're talking on their bare flesh. His seminar is to train parents uh, with his, his new book that he has out explaining why children need to be beaten, for what reasons, and he says starting at infancy. Mr. Tripp has a very, very scary, evil message to deliver. And he's delivering it to young parents and to parents who think that this is what is necessary. Most paddlers, I haven't met one paddler who was not paddled themselves. So it's, the cycle of abuse is continuing, but because of his authority as a, a man of the cloth, supposedly, he comes across with the authority that he knows the Bible and that this is what the Bible is teaching. But what I want you to know is that infants do not have to be beaten, children do not have to be beaten, in the Bible, Jesus never, ever abused or beat a child. And just to touch on the spare the rod, spoil the child um, comment or saying, uh, many people think that that's a scripture. That is not a scripture. It is only a saying, spare the rod, spoil the child. The rod throughout the Bible has always meant the instrument that a shepherd uses to guide, protect, move along or keep together the sheep that are in his care. It was never used by any good shepherd to beat a sheep. Some rods even have a pointy end, a pointy tip at the end to ward off enemies such as foxes or wolves that may be coming to hurt the, the sheep. But it was never ever used as an instrument of violence. In the New Testament, which is the testament that we live by now, Jesus set the example, and he said to love the children, not to exasperate the children, to protect the children. Never ever did he say beat children. If that were the case, he would have shown us this is what you do to raise your child properly. He was always loving, kind, and gentle to children. And there were many, many teachings out there and programs, including positive discipline created by Dr. Jane Nelson. Children do not have to be beaten. Mr. Ted Tripp is training an auditorium filled with parents of nearly a thousand people that they ought to beat their children beginning from infancy. I'm asking you for your help to stop this man, to stop this teaching, and to protect the children of these parents and to get them on the healthy and more uh, 21st century teaching of how to raise their children. Please visit my website, thehittingstopshere.com. Let me know if you are able to help. Send an email. My email address is paulaflo at thehittingstopshere.com. Please do something to stop this. Contact me at thehittingstopshere.com. If you're willing and able to help, let's join together to prevent this atrocity from happening. Thank you.